Hey YouTube, this is Brandon at The Edge Pro, and today we're going to talk about a wear part that's specific to the SMC Excel 5-speed clipper. We're going to talk about repairing the, the rubber switch button covers uh, on the, that clipper. So let's head on over to the repair desk and check it out. All right, we're over here at the repair desk, and we're going to talk about a wear part that is specific to the Andis 5-speed Excel clipper, and that is these little rubber buttons right here. So what happens over time is we've been turning the clipper on and off for so long, these buttons start to wear out, and it doesn't push the switch as well as it used to. So then we start using the end of our scissors to start pushing the switch, and that can compound the issue with our clipper and become a more expensive repair. So we're gonna teach you how to walk through this repair of just replacing these buttons so we don't have to end up replacing a whole circuit board inside. What you're gonna need for this repair is a number two Phillips head screwdriver. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the four housing screws, that's these black screws up here and up here, and we're gonna take all four of those out so that we can get inside the clipper. All right, we've got the screws out, and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this top housing piece off and see what's going on here in this clipper. We have, this is our motor, and it hooks to, these are the brushes, and they hook to our circuit board here. This is an insulator piece, this white piece here. That needs to stay right where it's at, and all we're talking about today is the switch button. It's just a little piece of rubber, and it just sits right on right on the housing on those three buttons. So now you can see when you're pushing your end of your scissor in there to turn your clipper on, you're damaging the circuit board. There's a lot of things going on there, and that's a much more complex repair than just replacing the button. So we'll get a new button, and I'll bring this up a little closer so you can see it just slides right into that slot just like that and then the housing goes right back on top, nicely like that. Make sure the buttons aren't bent or anything, everything's nice, sitting nice and flush. And then we'll put our screws back in. That concludes the repair for the switch button on the SMC or the Excel 5-speed clipper. We thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them. We'd love to read them and see what, what you have to say. Uh, and love to love to correspond with you on that. If this has been helpful, uh, please like it, like our page, uh, and hit the thumbs up button on this video. And uh, we thank you for your support.